I'm at the Gin Palace of the South. Behind me, two glorious glass houses, home to Mediterranean and tropical plants, right here in the Hampshire countryside. I'll be honest with you, almost came to fisticuffs in the newsroom because a bit of a fight. It was who was going to get sent out on this next story, wasn't there? Yes, I am I a bit jealous. I was in the jealous. back of the queue. Back yeah. of the queue well, was. <laughs> she, she had children need last week. Now Sarah Farmer <laughs> staked her claim and the weather is coming from quite an unusual place tonight indeed. She's managed to get inside, wait for this, a gin distillery at Overton in Hampshire. And uh, Sarah, looking at that, I can't see a bottle or a glass in sight. No, not just yet. We are at Laverstoke Mill in Hampshire, which is home to the new Bombay Sapphire Gin Distillery. This magnificent structure is a glass house. It's lovely and warm in here. It's set to a tropical climate and here they grow some of the plants which are used as ingredients which are then put into the gin. Next door we've also got a Mediterranean glass house, again where they grow some of the plants that go into the drink. Now I'm joined by Nick Fordham, who is the master distiller here. Nick, you're incredibly proud of the botanicals, the ingredients which go into your product. Absolutely, we are so proud of the botanicals that go into our uh, products because every single drop of Bombay Sapphire is made so special with them. We forage the whole world to bring back only the highest quality of botanicals. So for instance, we get juniper berries from Italy, we get lemon peels from Spain, but further afield we get Cuba berries from Java, and we get grains of paradise from the west coast of Africa. Wow, and it's all grown in these glass houses behind Absolutely. us. Absolutely, you can see an example of every single one behind us in our Mediterranean tropical glass houses. And can you talk us through the process, how the distillation process actually works? Absolutely, well we use a unique process of vapour infusion, and what that means is that the vapours uh, from distillation they go through the botanicals and they percolate through our copper baskets where the botanicals are held. And by doing so, they capture and extract all the essential oils and all the aromas from our exotic botanicals. And that's what gives us a very bright a citrus and juniper led gin with great depth and roundness. And actually the heat that's created from the distillation process is then used to warm those glass houses behind us. That's right, that's so important to us here at Laverstoke Mill. We use the waste heat from our process and we capture that and we use that to sustainably heat our glass houses but more importantly we use that also to heat our process buildings and also the first stages of distillation. Incredible. It's, it's fascinating to be a part of. Thank you very much, Nick, for allowing us here today. Uh, an incredible site to be on, actually. This site goes back to the Doomsday Book, and it was once a corn mill, it was once a paper mill. They used to produce all of the country's banknotes right on this site, and it is now entering a new chapter in the history books. Now, it's a good job we've got such a stunning location behind us, because I have to say, today's weather, well, it was far from glorious, more rather gloomy, really. Let's take a look at the satellite picture. And I have to say, more spells of rain on the way. Not the best forecast, I'm afraid. No, but Sarah, you can enjoy the rest of your evening in probably the best place this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. That's it from us. We've got more, of course, at 8 o'clock and 10.25 as usual. Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. We'll be back here on Monday. Thanks for watching tonight. Good night. Have a nice weekend.